Hi, Dawn Stan's Lamenti. Welcome to Hamilton, New Jersey, famous for being blueberry capital of the world and now hometown of a woman at the center of this historic presidential election. Kellyanne Conway made U.S. women's history in late summer when the longtime pollster became campaign manager for Donald Trump. Conway hit the airwaves and quickly became a household name known for her energy, class, and that smile. Despite the fact that Conway is at the epicenter of one of America's most divisive, controversial presidential campaigns ever, Conway seems to keep her cool. Her friends and colleagues say it's a Jersey girl thing. I met Kellyanne 15 years ago and I've never heard a bad word spoken against her. Author, political strategist and CBS radio host Rich Zioli says Kellyanne Conway quickly became a mentor. I first met her, I was 28 and I had just been elected chairman of the Republican Party in my county in New Jersey and I went up to her and introduced myself and she said, I've heard all about you. Uh, you're a success story. Can't wait, to, can't wait to get to know you. A credit to Hamilton, New Jersey and St. Joseph's Catholic High School where Kellyanne Fitzpatrick graduated class valedictorian. She was still a teen when in 1984, Ronald Reagan inspired her political dreams during a visit to the region. Her friends recall her incredible discipline and work ethic. She worked hard at a local blueberry farm and was even crowned Blueberry Queen, which is a big deal here. And so is Kellyanne. It's a big deal. You know, it's, it's um, a great accomplishment and it's very proud to be from a town that have all these people doing great things. They do uh, respect her and it's pretty amazing her job title and what, you know, in the company that she's running and what she's doing, especially now with, you know, our big elections coming up, which is a lot of positive and a lot of negative. So, yeah, God bless her. I think it's amazing what, um, what Hamilton inspired her to become. Now this Jersey girl has evolved into a respected businesswoman and married mom of four. She hopes to celebrate a huge victory January 20th her 50th birthday, which happens to fall on Inauguration Day. In Hamilton, New Jersey, reporting for Another Thing, I'm Dawn Stenzel Menti. Up next, Larry's commentary.